What's your opinion of the whole Fawny Willis situation in Georgia? What? I said, what's your thoughts on the whole Fawny Willis situation in Georgia? Have I missed Have I missed something? I have not heard about that situation. Oh, you haven't heard about that? Are you familiar with the fact Trump got indicted in Georgia last year? I, I, was, I was informed about that. Yeah, well, he was indicted for racketeering. Do you have any thoughts about that? Well, we all want him to be, all want him to run for president, so. Are you from, are you from Georgia? I am. Oh, I knew, I called it, that's awesome. You know, it doesn't tell you that here in the description. Now I really got to ask you some questions. So, you're not, you're not familiar, are you familiar with the whole, with Fulton County in any way? I am. How? I'm hard, I am, I'm. I live in Fulton County. No, you're lying to me. Are you really? I, I am. You're from Fulton County, Georgia. I am. And you, wait, wait, wait. So you, so you, what's your excuse not to know about this? Um, I really am never in like, I don't, I only like just keep up with like the news wise with mm -hmm. Trump and Biden and stuff like that. I don't keep up with really anything else i haven't heard about that like that hasn't that that hasn't been brought up in any well any situation i'm gonna update you just briefly so in that case there was there's a prosecutor who prosecutes and then the prosecutor has to call witnesses and things like that the person who investigated the case was a guy named nathan wade nathan and fawny you know they were lovers right they were you know, getting it on, doing their thing behind closed doors, but people didn't know that. Well, one of the defense attorneys for one of the defendants, remember there's 19 defendants in this case, brought that situation out and the judge said, no, this is a little bit of a conflict of an interest. So what either has to happen here is, Fawny Willis, you need to withdraw from the case or you need to get rid of your... Uh, investigating boyfriend who did the investigative work on this case whom your office was paying him so it's I like think I have heard about that yeah. now hearing you talk about it I think I have heard about it did I but I wasn't like investigating it no neither neither well that's the news basically and I just wanted to see what people thought of that how do people feel about this down there like in Fulton County Georgia where you are like what's the consensus about this issue like you have had, like, I, I imagine you would have had to talk about the situation to your friends and neighbors. Like, at some point, this must come up that your county oh, is indicting the former. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. What's, what's the consensus? Um, talk to me. Have the floor. So, half, I'm going to say 50-50. 50, 50. 50 of, like, per, part of them are like, it's fine. Like, if that's behind closed doors and out of the situation then they're fine. Like that shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a problem. And then the other half is like, he just needs to get his license revoked. Like they just need to strip his license. Basically. Well, what do they feel about the, I'm going to go big picture here with you. What do they think of the whole indictment itself? Like remember the allegation is that Trump tried to steal the Georgia election in 2020. Do the people in Fulton County, Georgia, do they feel that that is a legitimate indictment and allegation or not? What is the consensus down there on the indictment as a whole? Um, we don't think he ever did that situation. Mm -hmm. um, Fulton County basically were completely Trump supporters. I, I have Trump flag, um, Trump 2024, and we are trying to get mm -hmm. him to get back in office. Because Trump, I mean, Biden has had his ups and downs. He he really just needs to be out of office because by the time Trump is in it, Biden might be dead by that point. And I know there's been so many ad, like ad, ad, allegations, ugh, sorry, English, um, that everybody's trying to assassinate him next um, and get Biden in office, uh, like Trump in office. So, I don't, I don't know. I'm over here in Maryland. We don't have, you know, we don't have country girls like yours. I mean, you. I mean, I don't know if you are or not, but we. Don't I'm have, very. I was born and raised. Yeah. I'm, we don't have we got a the southern twang over here, and we got the yes, ma'am, no, sir. 
hey, that's all good stuff. I tell you, we don't have that here in America. We have all these women out of Washington, D.C. and Baltimore and College Park. And that's what we got over here. We ain't got, I got to get out of here. Crazy. I got to head to Florida. You most definitely do. We'll get the neighbors together. We have a mm-hmm. whole neighbor group, like like text message group wise. Yeah. And when we ever, we always have barbecues. We always go to someone's house and cook out and we talk about politics and Biden and Trump because our last topic from like the last barbecue, mm-hmm. um, we talked about Biden, how he's refusing to put more guards where the border is. And we are just got all these migrants mm-hmm. coming in here taking away from our living, our jobs, um, our schools, and then you got us that are paying for all of that. They took away Mm -hmm. from this one school. I don't know where it was, but they're doing it next in Fulton County, Mm -hmm. is they're putting migrants in schools, so taking away from our children's education and putting them in the schools for, like, refuge camps. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, you're getting government money from that. So why are you taking away from our children's, like, learning exactly. to put migrants in our fucking schools? Like, We cannot financially support the entire world. The whole yeah. world likes to think that we can, but we can't be a utopia. But I do have a question for you. Please. The whole, the whole Ukraine thing. How did you feel about that? So here's how I feel about Ukraine. It's a very complex answer uh, because I, I, you don't want to see. First of all, Russia is a real problem. I don't think anyone disputes that. Russia is a real problem, and the question is, is do you let people die on your watch, innocent people, and? While I think to some extent we should provide aid to Ukraine and maybe even sort of get them into NATO and if they pay the right fee, at some point you have to say, well, because remember, we're not involved in the war. The United States isn't involved in the war. At some point you have to say, you're either going to win this war with X amount of money or you're going to lose this war. And if you can't win the war, if sanctioning Russia doesn't do it, and you can't win the war with the money that we give you, a reasonable amount of money, then we, unfortunately, they got to give the land up. It sucks. It's not good. Screw Russia for doing what they're doing. They're wrong. And Vladimir Putin has his day before the Lord. No doubt. But at some point, you got to make a decision. A decision. Some decisions aren't easy. Most decisions aren't easy. And this is one of them that isn't easy. So you have to say, can you win with this amount of money? And if you can't, you got to give the you you you, you got to give them that land. I'm sorry, Be- but there's no other option because the alternative is the same thing happens anyway. And, and the United States has lost billions of dollars, and you've lost all your people. You know, you can sometimes you, they can say you can go down easy, or you can go down kicking and screaming. You, I say go down easy. Well, look at what happened in Afghanistan when we lost 13 of our people. That is... Yeah, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? That, that right there, that's... Oh, God. Yeah. When I tell you that pissed me off, that was... That pissed me off. Those 13 soldiers should have came home on their two feet. Mm-hmm. But they came in on a, in a casket. Those 13 soldiers came home in that. But you know what Biden did the whole time? He kept looking down at his watch. I remember that, yeah. When I watched that, that made my blood boil. You know, there's a real argument to be made that the president is so out of it that you almost can't blame him. Because you know he's out of it. Like mentally, cognitively. He's out of it. Mm-hmm. Trump Trump has Trump is old enough mm-hmm. to sit in that office and make the right decision because I Trump's I don't not know. cognitively shot. Biden is. Yeah. That's why I said it's not about age. His expiration date, he's a, he has a couple more years to go. But Biden, on the other hand, his expiration date is gone. Like that thing's been gone for many years. Yeah. He can't he can't financially he can't he can't process anything that's in his head. 
And he fell down those stairs getting off the airplane. Mm-hmm. That made me laugh. That was funny. Yeah. No, you're... But, we, 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 th- and this is why I think that Trump in 24 has got this in the bag, even probably <laughs> will outperform his 2016 electoral victory. I think that the world... The, the country was in chaos. People voted him out. And then very quickly afterwards, they said, you know, I think we'll take this guy back because we've seen that Biden... Remember, Biden was supposed to be the golden answer. He'll make the Trump craziness go away. You can look that up on YouTube or on Snapchat. Maybe put me in some group chats. Yeah, good deal. Maybe put me in some group chats with uh, some of your country girls. And uh, I'll see you in Georgia, all right? Okay. What do you think of the whole Fulton County, Georgia situation? With Fawny Willis. You know what I'm talking about. No, the f- don't. You don't know about Georgia and the Trump indictment? I just don't care. You don't care at all? Are you going to vote for Trump? Oh, I'm voting for Trump. Oh, so you definitely care then. No? I, was, I wasn't paying attention unless I heard Trump. Okay, all right. Well, now <laughs> I'll, rest- I'll restate the question. How high are you? Is that is that a factor? I'm high. Pinch? Okay, so are you familiar with the fact that Trump got indicted in Georgia? Georgia. What's indicted? Indicted? That's when you're charged with crimes. Why the f*** is he charged with crimes when he doesn't do f- He's literally the only one that's never f***ing owned slaves. Mm-hmm. And the reason why he was building the f- border the fucking wall is to make them illegal instead of border hoppers why do you like trump because he actually does everything right and mm-hmm. we wouldn't actually have a war because we we wouldn't have a war but biden we have a war okay very cool what state are you from by chance i'm from wisconsin you're from wisconsin okay well you're a swing state so your vote's gonna be pretty crucial yesterday i had like five people before i switched that flag really and I have a Trump, my Trump flag that's now hanging up on my ceiling. That was on my door. Wow, like, I do. I just to run. I'm like, bitch, go fall down some stairs and go have someone that owns slaves. I'm from Maryland. Can you believe it? Not really, but yeah. Wait, well, you you know you wouldn't believe that I'm from Maryland. I believe that you're from Maryland. Yeah, I'm definitely from. <laughs> I'm definitely from here.